As part of the integration with Shopify, we download products, orders and other files from Shopify and we also update data in Shopify using GraphQL APIs. In this video, we'll cover how using the new MDM screens, users can monitor both of these operations in detail. We've added new menu items in the exam where status for these files can be easily verified. To begin with, we'll log into our Hotwax Commerce account, go to the sales order page, and then go to the left hamburger menu and scroll down and click on exam. Here you will see there are a lot of new screens added. We'll discuss them one by one. To begin with, we have the Shopify GraphQL job. This screen can be used to verify the details of GraphQL mutations from Hotwax Commerce to Shopify, like listing a product for back order or pre order on Shopify, which is done by adding tags and meta fields or delisting the product from pre-order or back order by removing the tags and meta fields. Here there are different columns giving us different informations. The first one I'll discuss is the uploaded file. Uploaded file is what Hotfax Commerce sends to Shopify to process. The next is the processed file. Processed file is what Shopify has processed in its system and whether it meets the expectations of the job. The next one is the log. Log auditing lets users troubleshoot failed or partially failed mutations. Complete transparency into API logs helps to easily debug problems without external support. The next, state, next column is the status which tells us whether the file has been finished or is currently run, pending. The next screens, the second and the third Shopify order MDM and Shopify product MDM can be used to verify the detailed records of product or order import operations. It can be used to see the failed records or missing records if any. A perfect example for a failed record would be when an order is missing customer's address and is getting imported into Hotwax Commerce, it might give back an error. Here also you can see the uploaded file, the logs or the failed record file and the status. Similarly, the next three screens that deals with inventory, order cancellation, and order fulfillment from Shopify. They operate just like the order screen to help verify the success or failure of these jobs from these screens. These log screens makes monitoring very easy for the user. For more information on Hotwax Commerce, visit our website at hotwax.co or you can visit our forum at forum.hotwax.io.